All right. Let's start at the beginning. This is the Knight of Cups. It's upside down. And the Knight is, you know, he's kind of a noble creature. Um, he's one of emotional integrity. The Cups are can be water signs. That can be Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. It's upside down. So <clears throat> it may be um, a water sign that is a bit challenging to you. This can be a boss. This could be a partner. Um, but it does feel like this is a challenge of some kind, an emotional challenge. Cups are emotions. So it does feel like you need to float a little bit or you may have to um, speak a truth a little bit about what is good for you and what is not. Um, usually the cups are one of great emotions, of good balance, um, but upside down, you may be feeling a little out of balance emotionally over a situation. This does feel more like it's work related, so this could be a boss that's just loading things on your plate, a coworker that's not pulling their weight, um, it does feel like a male balance. I don't like to put gender to them, but, but this really does feel like a, a male um, that is maybe working against you instead of with you. So that is the general essence I'm getting from this king. But, you know, he's upside down, so it's causing you a little bit of stress, a little bit of an emotional roller coaster ride, and not really knowing what to expect from this person is what it's feeling like. What crosses you is the Ten of Wands, and the Wands can be action. They um, also can be um, a lot of load on your plate. Uh, this feels like it's, it is a 10, so it does look like it is the ending of a cycle. This does feel a little bit more like work as well, that they're really loading some stuff on your plate and you may have to speak a truth and, and ask for help or um, ask for fairness. Something feels like it's out of balance with effort at work. So in order to alleviate some of these projects, some of this in, in a, inequitable distribution of labor uh, it does feel like you will have to speak up um, but it does look like it is a 10 so it does look like it's coming to an end for some of you it may be you're getting ready to leave a job and you're just trying to finish everything up you could be retiring but something is coming to an end it could be a project uh, could be an act the actual job itself but it does feel like your load is really, really heavy right now, but it feels like it's a final ditch effort before the ending of um, either the job, a position, um, the project, something like that. So it does feel like you may have to speak up and hand some of these responsibilities to others to get it um, done in time whatever that deadline is, but it does feel like there's a deadline just resting on you and that you're feeling the whole weight of the world on your shoulders. So don't be afraid, Gemini, to ask for help. I know how capable you are, but, you know, nobody can do this life alone um, completely. So ask for help and bring it to other people's attention if the distribution of labor is out of whack. The Ace of Wands is here. I like to call these the God cards or the Hand of God. Um, so there is some motion coming to you. So it does feel like uh, something is coming to an end and new beginnings are happening. Um, it does feel like you're firmly on your karmic path. So this may be, you know, moving. This may be leaving a job, starting a new job. This is a this is a big shift, uh, retirement, if you will. Uh, but this is a big shift of something that you've done for uh, almost repetitively for years and years coming to an end. So um, it looks like new things are coming to you. You're starting um, new relationships. Um, it does feel like new friendships are forming. Uh, so be open and uh, ready to receive new friendships. But it does look like your view is going to be a little different in the coming months. So this may also be a physical move from house to house, state to state, um, different country. 
uh, but it does look like a physical move is in order of some kind. And for those of you who aren't moving, it could just be, you know, painting the current house you're in, changing rooms, cleaning out a closet. But it does feel like an upgrade, a move, um, possibly a different view. But it does feel like all this hard work that you've done that's coming to a close, there will be new, uh, new projects to start. So it's pretty exciting um, and I do feel new friendships forming as well Gemini so the Knight of Cups is here this is a water sign of Pisces Cancer Scorpio um, this is in the past position mm. this is feeling more and more to looking to your future um, it feels like you took a chance I'm feeling like you took a chance on love or you tried something different in love and it may not have worked. Don't give up. If it didn't work, try something new. Don't close your heart down completely. And if you're in relationship space with someone, it does feel like some changes are in order. Try some different changes if those did not work. But it does feel like you're looking to the future. Um, that you have some high hopes around your emotions and around your heart. Um, and it does feel like a message um, from um, a loved one from the past. So you may there may be a gathering of some sort uh, over the summer. You know, it could be a wedding, could be a funeral, could be a high school reunion, something like that but a reconnection from the people from the past. But it does look like that you have had a recent heartache. Someone could have left the planet um, and kind of changed, changes your perspective when people leave the planet and we grieve and we have to fill in that space where they are no longer present. So it does look like um, that you're holding your emotions pretty close to you. So... Um, there are some changes coming up in the heart space. So don't be afraid to open that heart again. Justice is here um, in the present time. And justice basically is righting a wrong. It doesn't necessarily have to have legal ramifications. For many of you, it may have le legal ramifications. In fact, let me do a clarity on this one. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, it's something from the past. Uh, Six of Cups or something from the past that is being righted. It does feel like it had something to do with money. So you may have, um, you know, somebody uh, paying you a long outstanding bill or loan that, that has been out in the universe for a while. But it does feel like um, something is being equalized again. It may have to do with money, but it's something to do with the past. Um and, you know, it may be as simple as a ticket that you forgot to pay that you are writing right now. And it's it's a wrong that will be righted either to or from you. Um, and that's probably in the process of happening right now, Gemini. The Queen of Cups is right here. And I'm feeling she may have something to do with this injustice in the beginning. Um, and something is coming much more into balance from someone from the past. You have three cups here so this feels very emotional um, so it does feel like you're getting your emotional balance back a little bit from kind of being uh, kicked off kilter for a while um, and this looks like for a long while you've been a uh, little bit out of kilter so it does feel like you're coming back into balance with your emotions the queen she's a generous person she's um, one of positive emotions, very helpful, um, and she's also a healer. So this can either be a physical person, which would be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, or just uh, coming into balance with your own stuff. Uh, but this does feel like righting a wrong um, and that she, this person had something to do with it. So it does look like time has passed. Emotions have healed. Um, this can be, could even be an ex. could be ex-wife, ex-husband. Uh, but something is coming into a little bit more balance. 
and uh, much more in present time that is helping you heal your heart and heal your emotions but it does look like you've had to walk through quite a lot of emotions over the last couple of months and that you're coming back into balance but you know the queen of cups she's also a very intuitive person so spirit is telling me to use your intuition when making decisions and making changes um, around this and communicating so use your intuition if something smells funny it is funny so trust yourself um, over anybody else's information you trust your own information first is what's coming to me Gemini here is the five and the five of swords you've got three swords in a row so it does feel like there's a little bit of tumultuous stuff a little bit of cutting words maybe cutting through the jive um, but it does feel like there's a little bit of static. It does feel like there may be some arguments, um, or, um, discord, uh, within a group of people. It could be a family, it could be family or it could be work, could be friends, but it does feel like uh, it's better for you to observe than get in the middle of it. The very strong message that's coming through is this is not your battle. This is not your battle, so uh, be neutral, be Switzerland, and step back from it. Fives are usually very, very challenging. Um, a lot of times it's something that we thought we already resolved that kind of rears, it, rears its ugly head at us. Um, but it is something that you're aware of, and it does feel like um, just observe it. You don't have to get in the middle of it. It is not your battle. Here is the six, um, and this is one of just kind of floating a little bit. So if, if you're not quite clear on what to do for your next step, it's okay to float a little bit and gather some more information. It does feel like you're a little bit in a protective mode. This feels like that as well. You're protecting yourself. Um, so it may be this discord that's kind of overlapping into other areas of your life and you're feeling a little vulnerable and a little um, overprotective of yourself um, it's not unwarranted it does look like some of this static is is very unpleasant and um, so it's okay to um, protect yourself and be neutral to other people um, but floating until you get clarity is not a bad thing not a bad thing at all but it does look like your future is a little uncertain to you um, so instead of making any hasty decisions just allow yourself to float a little bit until the answer becomes very clear to you here is the two of swords that is one of protection it's also one of closing yourself off not really seeing thing that's going on just kind of isolating yourself and being super protective this cross over the heart here is showing up so you may be super protective over your heart and feeling a little vulnerable around your heart space gemini the knight of pentacles is here and this is an earth sign this is a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, this feels like an, either a new friendship, a collaboration, someone who is fun, that kind of helps you step out of your own way. Um, a knight can be either a female or a male, uh, but it does look like uh, this is either friend or family member that will help you um, get things into perspective, gifting you with laughter. Um, it does feel like they are very diligent, um, very tenacious, and can um, help you to single down your focus. I know air signs sometimes are live in your head a little bit much, uh, a little bit too much, but this does feel like a more earthly person that is um, really grounded in what's going on and can help you laugh through the trials and tribulations and release a little bit of that overprotective stuff. The Page of Cups is here. Cups are messages or children. This really feels like a message. This can be a message of love or marriage. It can be an engagement. Um, it also can mean take an emotional risk, Gemini. And I know you guys um, tiptoe sometimes. Um, 
tiptoe in the safe zone. So, you know, take a risk. Um, get online. Check out, you know, dating services or you know, go out with somebody that you've always wanted to go out with. Or, you know, date your husband, date your wife. Take, take a little bit of an emotional risk. Um, it's okay not to do the safe thing all the time, Gemini. Uh, the star is on the other side. It looks like you are pouring out and releasing a lot of things from the past, which um, doesn't surprise me that this past card came up. Um, so it looks like a lot of the ills, a lot of the rights or the wrongs that have been righted, um, it's time to release a lot of those frustrations. And as you see, this woman is naked. This She is naked under this great big star. So it's time to strip away all the jive. It's time to strip away the excuses, um, all the have-tos, and just get down to the nitty and the gritty and to get naked with it and release anything that isn't of your higher essence, isn't uh, propel you into your greatness. So it looks like a lot of either trauma, sadness from the past um, that you've been holding in your heart for way too long and that it's been holding you back. It's time to continue to release those. And she is. She's really dumping a lot of stuff. And she's making room for all these great ideas, situations, aha moments, and really incorporating a little bit more of um, we are spirits in a body. So it does look like you are embracing a little bit more of your spirituality. Um, you know, not completely. I know you guys are pretty scientific, pretty prove it. Um, but it looks like things are starting to make sense to you a little bit more. You're relaxing a little bit and going with the flow. I notice there is water in almost every single card here. Water. There's a little water there. Water, water, water. So it's really time to go with the flow. There's a river here. There's a river there. One in the background there. So almost in every single card, it's time to go with the flow and and just float for a little bit. And if you don't have the answers right away, that's fine. Just float a little bit and let spirit show you your next step if you're not sure which way to go. Uh, but then again, if you don't know which way you're going, it doesn't really matter what road you take. So um, just float for a little bit. Continue to release. Um, you will get clarity. This month is not going to be, um, it doesn't look like it's going to be big, tumultuous, negative, or or grand positive. It does feel like it's going to be a middle of the road type of month. So it's time to integrate, continue releasing, and float a little bit. So before you make any grand decisions, just float and, and see what happens, Gemini.